The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited has so far spent $1.1 billion on the construction of the $2.8 billion at Jaokuta Kaduna Kano gas pipeline project. The group chief executive officer at NPC Limited, Melekiari, on Monday also said the pipeline would be energized by the third quarter of this year. Kiari was speaking during the inspection of the facility in Akoho village around the local jar end of the gas pipeline project in Kogi State. He said NNPC Limited currently holds no single dollar to its contractors and has paid all their invoices. Last week, the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, said the $2.8 billion natural gas pipeline project was 43% completed. Oshibanjo, who spoke through the Secretary to the Government of the Federation at a function in Abuja, had stated that the AKK pipeline was a major product of the President Mohamed Buhari administration. Nigeria has emerged as the top country for venture capital investment in 2022. A new report by the Africa Private Equity and Venture Capital Association has revealed. In its annual report titled 2022 AVCA Venture Capital in Africa Reports, the continental body said Nigeria outperformed other countries that made the list to account for 22%. Now, according to the reports by Region West Africa maintained the top sports for the second consecutive year, with Nigeria as the most active country both in the region and on the continent. West Africa attracted the largest proportion of venture capital deal volume in Africa, that is 30%, driven by Nigeria, which was the most active country by volume at 22%. On the continent, deal making was concentrated in the financial sector, which assumed 31% of deal volume and 42% of deal value. Also, 77% of investors active in Africa's venture landscape in 2022 were international investors, while 23% were African investors. The Nigerian diaspora community has remitted $168.33 billion to the country in the past eight years. This is as foreign investment inflow into the country fluctuated in the period under review and caused a scarcity of foreign currency, which has since led the free fall of the Naira. Now, according to data from the World Bank and Budget Office of the Federation, Nigeria's diaspora remittances have played a key role in assuaging the impact of foreign exchange scarcity and keeping the country's forex reserve afloat. In 2022, the World Bank stated that remittances flow to sub-Saharan Africa grew by 5.2% to $53 billion, with Nigeria getting the largest share. The data from the Global Bank revealed that between 2015 and 2022, a total of $168.33 billion was sent home by Nigerians in the diaspora. Now, at least eight states failed to attract any foreign investment for piled up $194.09 billion debt between 2019 and 2022. Data from the Capital Importation Report of the National Bureau of Statistics revealed that Bayesa, Gombe, Eboing, Jigawa, Kebi, Taraba, Yobe, and Zamfara did not attract any foreign investment to their state. However, data from the Subnational Debt Report of the Debt Management Office showed that this state had a combined debt of 710.38 billion naira in 2019. By 2022, the combined debt of this eight states had risen to 904.47 billion naira, showing a difference of 194.09 billion naira. The debt included domestic and external debt as recorded by the Debt Management Office under the reviewed period. In its December 2022 edition of the Nigerian Development Update, the World Bank noted that state's debt would rise above 200% of the revenue generated in 2022 and 2023 due to low allocation from the federal government account, which will likely weaken the fiscal condition of the state. And now, hope ahead, bringing Port Promises Ado Indigence employment. This and more after this commercial break.